Hey, you guys, Lonely Gum. Here we are back with Just Ask Q&A. With yeah. Q&A. Can love be a conscious choice? Let's read. Let's see what she has to say. You're assuming it's a girl, aren't you? Mm, I don't know. It is a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I smell like gum. William Salam. She's talking to both of us, babe. Like him Salam. Like him Salam. I hold love. On, hold on, I'm not done. What do you want? Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What are you winking for? I like doing that. Well, you gotta calm down for people thinking you're winking at them. Oh, yeah. You can wink at me. Like, I don't. Yeah, it's That's like, fine. I don't know. I don't see this wink thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like a nervous twitch. It's not like a nervous twitch. You're intentionally winking. No, it's like it's like when I when I'm when I'm, I'll be like, oh man, my bad. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, read the read it. Now. Okay, okay. Love your series. May Allah reward you both. I mean, I know you two no. are in an arranged marriage, so I thought you'd be able to help me answer this question. I know a wonderful guy. He's really nice. We get along. Similar sense of humor. He's there for me. And most importantly, he has the dean. Okay. okay. I've known him for a long time. Eight years. So I definitely trust him. It's just, he's always been more of a, a friend. Dang. He asked me she whether I would, him. Serious. Yeah. He she, asked me whether I would consider marriage the other day. And I, I still haven't given him a response. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Left him, him on hanging. The edge. Dang, I feel so bad for that guy. I don't. I mean, yeah, he, like, I mean, did you say, I hope she said, like, you know what, I need some time to answer this, like, rather maybe. than just, like, left him on red. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully, I mean, since they, they've known each other for a while, it'll be all right. Yeah. Like, some guys, mm -hmm. like, you tell them, you blow them off. They get crazy. Yeah, they, they get, are crazy. They get crazy, you know. They're insane. <laughs> Stuff will go crazy. <laughs> People will go crazy. Okay, it says, um, I just, oh, wait, the reason is, I don't know whether we'll have chemistry. I don't feel all those romantic feelings towards him. But is that just because I never saw him in that light? Yeah, that's is good, love and romance just... something you can consciously build with someone after marriage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or is it a case of it, of it's there or it isn't, or it isn't? Please help. I think he'd make an, an ex I think he'd make an excellent husband and dad one day, inshallah. I just don't know whether he's the right one for me. Mm -hmm. If he's the one I'm I'm meant to be with, and I should be madly in love with him. Or is that just the movies? That's just the yeah. movies. Yeah, that's just the movies. We just we just covered love love, babe. We just covered that. We just did. So maybe maybe she got, maybe you've already watched her last video, but if you if you look at, read what you wrote, you said that you like his you kind of like you like his personality. You think he's going to be a great you father and a great be a husband. Great father, great husband. He got the dean. He's, he has the dean. What else did she say? You she know said, him for eight years, like you know him. Years, you guys have good chemistry. No, she said she's a no. They'll have good chemistry, good like chemistry, romantic right. chemistry. It's romantic. like been a friend type thing. Yeah, it's been a really a really good friend. It's like sometimes friends make the best. Spouses. You know? I think you should go for it. Love is something that you develop, right? Yeah. With, when you marry someone, you will develop love. Because it's like as friends, you're not giving each other the same type of rights that right. you give your spouse. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you are giving each other those type of rights, you're just like, oh dang, like right. I think I kind of love my best friend now that we're married. Because right, it's like you know, you're you open up a side of yourself that you haven't really disclosed to anyone else, mm -hmm. right? Like. Being around them and you're being around another guy in your pajamas or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Or you know, someone complimenting being, being, you in your rough moments of right, roughness. You know, or like you know, waking up in the morning and you're you are rough, you know. Mm -hmm. When or like you know, you wake up in the morning if you're black, you're froze like straight <laughs> up crazy. Like you're looking, I mean, you're looking rough. Like you know, you you open yourself up to another. It's, it's just so much different, right? Like when you're on Instagram and things like that, people post or even the like best, just texting the best stuff. pictures of themselves, right? But and if you you know you catch them without makeup or something, you're like, whoa, what's going on? You no. look like a different person. No, were you like that with me when I put my mm. makeup off? We were just like, oh wow, she's still cute. I mean, I don't. I'm not a fan of makeup in general. Okay, but, but when I didn't have my makeup off, were you like, oh wow, she's still cute? Yeah, I mean, but it's like you, you look different without makeup, you know? Do I? 
You don't, you, no one looks the same with and without makeup. It depends on what kind of makeup you're going for. Yeah, of course. But, you know, one time I came home, you had, like, blue lips and stuff, remember? So I, I did, like, and then you said I that was, was like, kind of cool. Yeah, it was, but, you know... When you took it, took the, those blue lips off, you look a little different, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of. Anyways, <laughs> Anyways, bottom line is like when you're exposing yourself to someone in a in a different light that you're not used to, you start to grow. Like your bond increases and it yeah, grows. new feelings like emerge. Mm -hmm. You definitely, you definitely. I think love is like a conscious decision in a sense that. No, you, I think I think love is grown. I don't think. I don't think I think I'm not I think saying, like you wake up and you're like oh, I think love, I'm is, love, him love today. is love is unconsciously grown. Mm, okay, yeah, I like how you put that. Mm -hmm. So you you don't you have know, to you make don't, that you, effort. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to make an effort to for love. It's that once you once you get into that type of situation, love will 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 grow itself. Flourish, right? Um, it'll like love will foster itself, right? Ah, you know? look at you, Mister Poetic. Yeah. But yeah, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. I say go for it. What do you say, babe? I say... Give it a chance. Yeah, give give them a chance. Yeah, man. I mean, you don't have to accept the proposal, but maybe you could just say, like, how about let's let's start this process and see if we're good for each other in this way. Because mm -hmm. if you're not... Like, whether whether you guys decide to move on with this process, your friendship just changed the moment he asked for your hand in marriage, so there's yeah. no going back. Yeah, it's always... It's always... It's either, you know... Yeah, I mean, you there's guys. No going back. There's no going back, <laughs> there's right? No going back. Like when you when you ask someone like if you want to date your best friend or something like that, it's like, all right, this is like you're you're someone else to me now. Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Yeah, and you can't. Yeah, go that's back when that. that's when people get cut off completely. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. You either go for it, or you cut them off because there's no going back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope this answers your question. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to ask Q and A with. Q and A. No, I meant to say with the email. When did you do oh, the yeah. email? <laughs> Emailing us at just ask Q and A at gmail.com. And we'll do our best to respond. That's all we can do. It's your decision to take the advice or not. All right. Q and A out. Q and A out.